In this video, I will go through what's new in Shortcut version 22.09.23. Let's get started. First thing is the addition of an action search function in Shortcut. Access it by clicking on the forward slash button or the question mark button. So here, it will help you whether you're a new user or an existing user to search for the shortcuts as well as the action. For example, you want to save a file, search for save. You can click on Ctrl to save. Shortcut will actually save your project. You can also have your own custom shortcut. For example, if you are left-handed, instead of using the default S for the split key, okay, you can create your own. Let's say you want to have a Shift M to do the cut, you can do that as well. So you have Shift M and Shortcut will now split your video when you have split M. However, note that some of the keys are reserved, for example, the J, K and L key. Now, as you hover over the filter, you can see the effects. It will definitely help somebody who's new and even somebody who has been using Shortcut for a while but haven't explored some of the other lesser used filters. Next is Transitions. When you click on the Properties, you can also preview the transition so you can see this transition before you apply it. On top of that, you can also have your custom transition. So to get your custom transition, you can just hit on this key. It takes you to Shortcuts website. Go to any of this location. I'm going to KDE store. And the fractal marble that you saw just now, I downloaded it from this website. You can also use this as well. Click on any of this transition. This clock over here. Right click, save it somewhere on your computer. Let's say I'm just going to call it clock version 4. Head back over to shortcut. Go to settings. Go to app directory. Show it. There is this transition. Go back to where you save your file. Drop this into this app directory. Okay. Uh, you won't see it yet. You need to save and exit from shortcut. Restart shortcut before it takes effect. Let's open back the file. Go back to transition. So you have clock here and you have this effect. So mask draw was included in the previous version, version 22.06. But with this new version, you now have the buttons to invert a mask or to reverse it. So you can create an effect like this as if you have binoculars and this is how it looks like in the Glux Nimit file just two white circles I hope that this video has been helpful to you do give it a thumbs up if you want to learn more there's a link in the description for a shortcut training course that I've created check out on the screen some of the testimonials of my recent students whether you are new to shortcut or you have used shortcut before I'm sure you get to learn something as well check out what's on the screen right now for the next shortcut tip